Now, all right, welcome back. Uh, two by ones today, empties. There's a crap load of them, so let's get going. Uh, almost all of them have all five. However, the all-in-ones, there's an A and a B for two of them, and the others are just static. So missing Deimos on both, and then these all, the Bs only have Stroud and Nova. These are going to go in alphabetical order by hab type. So Armory, then Captain's Quarters, then Computer Core. Swat, uh, sidle back to uh, Control Station, uh, Infirmary, Living Quarters, Lab, the Science Lab, and Workshop. I have a feeling we are going to find many of these to look exactly the same. Because, I mean, there's 46 of them. How many different ways can you change 46 different halves? And we're going to find that out today. 46 empty halves, excuse me. All right, got my Chi-Chi with me. Nova, all-in-one. This is their A version. Oh, light. Got a head. All right. So, uh, oh, this is the one that's got that really nice uh, console for the uh, table. Galley, functional. Bed, functional. No second bed. I did my best to get all the ladders in a row this time. All right. Top to the next. I'm gonna try to only spend 20 to 30 seconds in each one, because again, how there's not gonna be that much difference. All right, we've got Stroud all in one. Um, looks like maybe Galley doesn't work. I'm thinking Galley does not work. Okay. So slabs with no, nothing, so uh, put your own bed sheet down, bed roll. Pretty, uh, pretty standard Stroud. That's weird. I did not open that and it was already open. Okay. So, Hope Tech, all in one. We've got a pair of bunks on the back that is it gonna let me access the bottom one? I can only access the top one. That's kind of odd. Okay. Same thing on both beds. I can only access the top one. But you do have two beds. I imagine the NPCs will be able to deal with it. Galley works. Okay. Nice big flat wall. Fairly good open space back here. And last of the A's or non-designated all-in-ones, we have Tayo. All right, let's see if theirs works. Galley, yep, galley works. There is a door, same thing, that's weird. I did not open that, but okay. Similar thing on the beds, but they work, so who cares? As long as it functions, right? It's all that really matters. Height warning. Yeah, right. Now this is going to be the all-in-one B. We're going to start off with Nova. Lots of beds. Mm, functional bed there. Three functional beds. If that is up your alley, that is very nice. Head does have a door. Very cool. I've always liked the look of Nova. I do like Stroud and Deimos when I'm looking for more like a sleek look to them. But Nova really does for it. I mean, it's that whole NASA look. It's just kind of my... My forte, my my shtick. All right, Stroud. 
This is their B version, and I misspoke earlier when I said Stroud didn't have a B. I was wrong. Stroud has a B. Stroud has a second non-working galley, it looks like. Try to back off a little bit. Oh, yeah, I don't see any way to access that galley for some reason. Uh, that's what the crap is going on there. So, the bed sheet or, or blanket, whatever, is there missing the bed roll. So, that might be a non functional entirely. I don't know if you can fit the, the <laughs> sleeping bag over it. Oh, man. How long did they spend working on this update? All right. Boink. Yes. We are going to move on to armories. I have a feeling these will be very interesting. Just based off of, you know, armories. We're going to start off with Deimos. It's going to be the same from now on. The, the same five in order. You got some cage going on. With seemingly no attachment at the top. All right. I could see this being a decent armory. It'd be nice if there was a door. Uh, even if it was like a, a cage door, like a metal door, you know? That'd be kind of cool. Coming into Nova. This is going to be their armory. Okay, now that's weird. Was there a door there? I don't remember on the main one if there was a door there. It just seems like... I mean, it's cool. You know, you have this, like, quote, cage area. But without there being, like, a, a, a door, you know, that would have a window in it or something. Because um, I'm assuming that's going to be, like, their brig area inside the armory, which I know a lot of people are like, oh, God, that's a terrible idea. You don't hold bad guys in a spot where you have a bunch of weapons. I'm not saying I disagree. But it's a whole vibe. Stroud Armory. I would say this is one of those times I don't dig the white floor. For an armory, I just... I don't... I don't think it meshes well, you know? Let's see if Hope Deck has anything fun to offer us. Mm, nice big open space. Put a door right there and you'd have this huge open space right here to do all kinds of stuff with. Oh, hey! We have a cell. Let's see if this all works. Door functions. Top bunk functions. Nothing about the bottom bunk. And then there's a floating just piece of paper. Okay, cool. Towels that you can't move. Another big giant open space and no no doors on the bulkheads, but I, it kind of looks appropriate there versus, what was it, Deimos or something where it just looked weird. We're going to top it off with Tayo. Oh, is she trying to get in? You trying to you trying to free Cora? I put her in there for a reason, you know. I should never say those things out loud. It's always good to see a friend. Well, I'm glad. All right. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Bed works. Floating piece of paper also. That's um yeah. Uh very very bright but uh uh, what is it? Obfuscated. So yeah, same thing. Just a brighter color scheme, since it is painted. Height warning. Yep, that's front. Okay. Now let's head into Captain's Quarters. I I don't even want to know what Cora was doing. 
Looked like she was just climbing the same two steps over and over. All right, Deimos, we've got a captain's quarter for you. Got the nice bathroom in it. Got a nice divided space there. That could be cool. If I remember right, this is the one that has that really nasty plastic bunk. I still don't get why the shelves in all of these. I don't... It's weird because I don't remember them being in the the main ones, the, the filled ones. But it's because there's a lot of stuff in the filled ones. So maybe I'm not paying enough attention. Entirely possible. Alright, we got Captain's Quarters for Nova. If I remember right, Nova's the one that... Uh, I like the idea of how compartmentalized it is right here. So you do have a functional bed. I think we talked about this before in the actual video that I made of these, where a door for these that comes and goes up, I think would be really cool. Like a garage door. I think that'd be really nice. And you have a galley in this one. That's cool. Cool, cool. Nice layout. Nice space. Good look. I can definitely dig it. Stroud. Let's see what this captain's quarter looks like. Deimos. Deimos and Stroud. All right. Hope Tech, I believe, is the one I'm using for my main... Let's see, we've got a door. We have a door. Okay, good. So, Hope Tech's Captain's Quarter does have a functional door. I like that touch, where it's got the insulation following the, uh, the curvature. Of course, that means because that someone missed taking it out of there. I like this alcove. Nice. That is a cool bed. Is that the way it really looks? And it just has like a, sh uh, a blanket over it and we don't see it? That's a cool looking bed. I like it. And then, you know, just a, just a big old open space. Other than the, uh, you know, sheet metal looking floors, I could see people do doing some pretty interesting things with that. Excuse me. So Tayo gonna give us a brighter um okay. We got a, f a wall hovering. I'm I'm guessing that is supposed to be like that. I mean it's just a guess. See now this bed looks terrible. It's like it's like the three D the 3D mesh didn't uh, load or something. Because that looks like it's just hard plastic. Does this door work? It does. Well, with the exception... See? Nope, they have it on here too. It's just different. It's a different type of... Uh, it's not as uh, quilted as much for the insulation. God, that's so weird. Oh, okay, height warning. What? Just... what? Why? Really? Your ship smells so much cool, okay. now get out of my way. Bye. Yep, get out of my way. Alright, we are on computer cores. And this is going to start it off with Deimos. So we do have glass in there. This looks more like an armory than the ar than the armory did. 
That's weird. I just wonder what that is. Alright. Nova's gonna chop us up into a bunch of pieces for a computer core, so uh, pop your sleeping bag down there for a bed in a computer core. And, and a second one. Or figure out how to make that a table, maybe. Maybe it's a workstation. It's a weird choice for computer core. I mean, both of them are. It's just weird. And I see floating objects. I see a lot of floating objects. O2. In a computer core? Man. Alright. <laughs> Whatever. Stroud computer core with floating things that they forgot to remove. Sounds cool. And more. That and whatever this thing is. There. That's cool. Well. Fun times. Hello there. <laughs> Alright, Hope Tech. <clears throat> Sam, what in the ass are you doing over there? I can hear computers running, but there's no computers here. They forgot to even take the sound out. The sound signature. <sighs> Any day you make it through is a victory in my book. It makes you wonder, a company that big, like, where's the quality control? <laughs> Do they exist? I don't know if you can hear that. I can hear it plain as day in my headset. Computers running, but there's no computers here. What can I do for you? Like, I hear a whole bunch of them right there. It's so weird. Uh, <laughs> height. All right, we are now back to the backside. And do another five sets of these. All right, we're gonna start off with control stations. Demos control station. Valuable if you want a crew, but you do not want to use the Eris bridge, which has eight by itself. I can dig this layout. I like it. You can do a lot a lot of many things with this kind of layout. Put a door or a window there, meaning you attach something to that spot uh, to get rid of these, and then it opens the space up more. You could do that on both sides or even those shelving there. Could uh, be a nice space. Let's see what Nova has to offer for a uh, control station. Control center. Nova likes her galleys, so you're going to get a galley in a control station. Center. Why do I keep saying station? Well, sky's the limit in here, man. You could make this, a v if you actually wanted to, a very serious control station. You could go nuts in here. Computer stations galore. Or something totally different, if you choose. Stroud. We got uh, a lighter paint tone version of Deimos. Same, literally exactly the same as Deimos. In this case, 
Were those hovering? No, they were not hovering. Alright. Yeah, that's just big empty space. What if that's going to make Tayo just empty, empty? That'll be interesting if it does. Yeah, not much to it, you know? Hope Tech, empty. Who did it this time? I went straight up. Even if that was the end, I wasn't continuously climbing. You guys are all weird. Uh, so not empty, empty, but empty. Uh, a, a lot of volume of space for you to do as you please. Height warning. Alright, so we're going to go this way. We are going from control station to infirmary. This might be interesting. Or it could look just like every other place. Okay, so you're going to get two of those that you can't move or do anything with. That's cool, I guess. Sure. This is part of the reason I wanted to do these videos, because empty does not at all mean empty. Like, not at all. Except for what? One 2x2 two two hab was the only one so far we found that was literally empty. The Tayo. All right, we got some Nova Infirmary, which looks almost like uh, a couple of the other Novas. So you got double beds with nothing on it that you will have to place your own. It does not have that overhead light, which is really cool that the what all in one had, I think it was. Same as Deimos, you have two of those in-wall cabinet systems that you just have to sit there and look at because it won't let you do anything with it. Alright, Hope Tech, give us something different. Yeah, see, this looks just like another Hope Tech we've been in already. The armory, possibly even the computer core. This is this is what I had expected that some of these were going to look a heck of a lot like some of the other ones we've already visited. Is that like That's interesting. Like there were things up on the wall that uh, didn't get removed properly or something. Get some goo gone. Get rid of it. Height warning. Oh, I went too far. Whoops. All right, so this, now we're going to move on to living quarters. Do we have a functioning galley this time? Nope, we got punked. No functioning galley. A whole other set of cabinets you can't remove. Wall shelving you can't remove. Three of them. Well, you can remove it with doors or windows, but you can't do anything with that brace. And a non-functioning galley that you just have to stare at and be like, mm, eh. Well, Nova's got something together. It's got a uh, bed. 
functioning right off the bat. I'm going to guess the galley works. The galley does work. While it may be small, I do like that galley. It's very efficient. As you would expect on a spaceship where you need efficiency. Ooh, so this is, has a bathroom and the door works nice. And it has two beds, a galley. Now see, that's a nice living quarters for a two by one. It's got a lot going for it that you don't have to place at least. Let me guess, Stroud, you're going to tell me that your galley is not accessible. Okay, now there's a slight difference between this and the Deimos. We're going to have a galley working. Maybe if I sneak up on it. Nah, it's a good try, though. Um, random mats they forgot. Cool. A uh, double bunk, so you place it down here. So that will probably function, I'm sure. The Actually, I don't know that I've ever seen NPC sleeping on the top bunk, to be honest. Then another one of those you can't get rid of. That's not functional. Yeah, meh. Ooh, boy. Spare no expense, Hope Tech, right? I mean, at least your galley works. Function over form, is that what they call it? Bed works too. Also, I do believe that like light thumping noise that you were hearing in, I don't know, two videos ago. I think it's me moving my mouse, so I've been trying to be more careful with it. So Tayo, again, just one big ugly function over, fo uh, over form. I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't like it at all. Uh, height warning. All right, where are we at? We are going this way. This is gonna move us into the science lab. Oh, I should have figured that was gonna happen. Well, they heard you liked cabinets that you can't get rid of, so they gave them all to you. Wow, F every wall. Every single wall has crap on it that you cannot remove. That sucks. I mean, these are neat. The frosted glass sticking out. You could probably find something cool to, to uh, you know, do in your hab that utilizes those. But, man, six of the eight walls, you're stuck with whatever's there. Screw you. Okay, that sucks. Bummer. Let's see if Nova Science Lab treats us any better. <laughs> another galley. Of course there's another galley. It's Nova. Uh, could be bed. And not a hell of a lot else. But, decent. I can dig it. Once again, the uh, lighter colored version of Deimos, you are stuck with having all the wall sections, except for the front and back. So I guess you're putting uh, portholes and door connections and all kinds of stuff if you want to use this hab. That's uh, really in serious? It's really unfortunate. <coughs> Uh, what the? That seems really random. Maybe it's just because I don't use the Hope Tech Science Lab and I don't remember those being there. That's really cool, actually. I love this indented 
wall section versus having the curve. Man, if they did that to all of them, where it came down flat like that, just give us a little indent and then give us a flat wall. Oh, that'd be perfect. Why can't we have that on all of them? That's all I'm asking for. I want stuff I can put stuff on, you know? Or or, or let us put it on the uh, curved sections. Maybe Maybe give us a sweet spot right in the center where we can put it or let us put it on the spine, or I don't know, something like that. I both like them and kind of wish they weren't there. Eh. Height warning. Up. Oh. Went too far again. This is that's the actual ship part, like where my where my people are. It's the ship is actually underneath this uh, rig to mount all these things. All right, last one is workshop. Start with Demos. They just need to give us the ability to place these kinds of things and the half walls and the change these out for like modular, right? Change this out for something else. Maybe we want shells. Maybe we want a galley there. A galley unit could go in or maybe we want it that that cool indented flat bit that we just saw. You know, just give us those. Let us really customize these things and man, it could be so cool all the stuff we could do with these if they really, really allowed us to. Which I'm sure they're going to be like, yeah, modders will do it. Because they're free. Modders don't cost payroll. So you got one potentially functional. You'll have to put down a sleeping bag. And you got this little cage if you want to do something or something. Coming up now on Stroud Workshop. At least it isn't her haiku. I can hear machines running. And there's no machines. Or just or just that big flat. I mean, even if it wasn't the indented one, let do that. I mean, it, it really encroaches the space, of course, but it gives us more places we can put things. I can put stuff on that sidewall. I can put stuff all over that. At least this is fairly open. This could, this could be a good workshop. Uh, it has the look of a workshop, you know, it's kind of gritty, it's metals, and, you know, so it, it could definitely work. And Tayo, this is the final 2x1 hab. 46 of them later. It's been a... What happened there? Maybe in a different universe, uh, we finally got tired of Korra. I did not say that. Another stain on the wall. All right, so uh, next we are going to be looking at things like... I've got to do some testing videos. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five different things written down that I need to test and, and see if I can get reliable results. Uh, for you for videos and then I got two surprise videos that I'm trying to get all done before the 15th today's the 8th try and do this all before the 15th uh, before this hits live so you have as much possible information when this hits and you can play and you can just hit the ground running thanks for watching everybody